rustic in settings, dozy in outlooks, and undulating in terrain, Ilaorogu steeps with natural elements that stand it out in Osho State as a town like no other. Its captivating scenery and friendly aura welcomed visitors into the comforting arms of Lifton Hills that penetrated from the vicinity of St. Matthew Anglican Church into the length and breadth of the town on Saturday, March 31st, 2018. The purposeful parade of pristine personalities within the church premises reinforced the passion that permeated the palpable presence of joy at the cathedral. Indeed, St. Matthew Anglican Church basked in grandeur of the investiture of the church chiefs who are to take up the role of elders and leaders in the church. It was a beginning of a new dawn, cocooned in rebounding voices that amplified the angelic lyrics which dripped out consistently from the pulpit and primarily ushered in the priest into the sanctuary for the heavenly business. Considering their life of inspiration, noble characters, worthy representations, passion for the service of God, dedication to the work of God, and immeasurable contributions to the development of the diocese. Seven members were found deserving to attain the chiefly post of assisting the bishop in achieving the purpose and plan of God for the church. Hence, this glorious day was specially designated for them as they stood before the right reverend Dr. Humphrey Olumakaye to be invested into the high rank offices in the church. <laughs> Notable among them is Chief Lawrence Olaboye Dada, who was inducted as Babaijo of St. Matthew Anglican Church, Ilaorogun. A graduate of English from the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ilefe, Chief Dada is a man with track record both in the service of God and humanity as the first permanent secretary in the Ministry of Health in the old Oyo State and executive assistant to the first executive governor of Osho State, Chief Bisi Akonde, Chief Dada's investiture as Babaijo is a clear explanation of a round peg in a round hole. At 80, Chief Dada demonstrates an uncommon charisma an eloquent expression of his readiness to serve God and man at a full capacity. And this was further cemented by the position of Right Reverend Ulumakai in his short exaltation. The newly invested chiefs were later joined by friends and families. Withdrawal hymns brought the service to a glorious end. From there, guests of Babaijo gathered at the banquet hall of Abike Hotel to wine and dine and celebrate with Dada's family. Cheered by Mr. Bayo Adesui, the reception took on a lively start as the celebrant and his wife danced into the hall and into the melodic song of Uncle D Band. Everyone had a nice treat on their conducive atmosphere. Baba's children and in-laws were on top of the game, ensuring everything went perfectly well. As a matter of fact, the coordination and supervision of the entire event was visibly handled by one of Baba's in-law, Dr. Muiwa Ugnu, a consummate pharmacist, an erudite intellectual, and unrepentant unionist. Dr. Ugnu 
approved the social and organizational method in Ilaoru as he backed his father-in-law on his own tax. Even his wife, Folake, was consistently on the move all through the day to rectify any would-be lapses in the entire package. This amazing show of love from the children has definitely got Chip Dada a spark of confidence and great platform coupled with the grace of God to hit the ground running as Baba Ijo of the Anglican Church. Red Cabot's TV spoke to the new Chip, the Bishop of the Diocese and some of the children. They call to discipleship, call to higher service in the Church of God. And we want to thank God for the crop of chiefs that have just been vested with different titles in the church. Uh, we believe that they go all out to evangelize, to support us in our ministry of evangelization. <laughs> It's indeed a privilege for him to be crowned as the Baba Oicho of St. Matthew and the Can. I'm not surprised by the way because I know he's up to the task. We are very proud of him and I know he will not disappoint us. God will help him. A position that he really merits, if I can say that, because he has been faithful to the Lord for a long time and he has always been here, even in uh, Mila and Ijo, the Ijo in um, Oshogo and even in Badon, Anglican Church. So he has been very useful in the household of God and he merits this position. To grandpa, my grandpa Lawrence Dada, He's a good man, he's a good Christian, and he always shows love to everyone. He shows love to everyone. Everyone considers him as their father. They consider him as their mentor because he's a very good man. Um, it's a big honor, you know, for, for him to be recognized as the Baba Jo, you know, of this um, big church, you know, and um, it's a thing of joy for the family. And then we're all happy for him, and then um, we wish him God some um, guidance wisdom in leading the church on um, what the bible says if you really lower yourself then you will be counted worthy to be esteemed he is a very humble person humble to the point that he respects everyone and again one quality he has is the interest he has in the work of god he is somebody who is very concerned which the neighbor, as the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. He likes to see that everybody is having and having enough. He sacrifices himself, his materials for the service of humanity. And this definitely is one of the qualities the church sees in him and found him worthy to be given this award. This position, I believe that all that we have belongs to God. And from the many, many things that God has done for us, we pick just a little and you remember the church. And I believe that could be one of the factors. And then finally, you remember that God makes kings. God makes kings. You cannot be a job unless God appoints you. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we congratulate Chief Lawrence Olaboye Dada on his investiture as Babai Job of St. Matthew Anglican Church. Ilao. 